Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Brad Jr. here and welcome back to Reengineering, my Space Engineers series where you guys give me ideas and I try to make it as best as I can in Space Engineers. So today's idea wasn't really given to me by anyone. It had to do with the latest update which allows you to assign item actions to your hotbar and I'll show you guys that in a second. But I was messing around with one thing and I'll show you guys what exactly I was doing over here. So if you ever played the mobile games, or I'm pretty sure they're real life games as well, we have a ball rolling around a, a, a platform here and you have to rotate it back and forth to try to avoid the holes and get it to the end of the maze. I was making that here but it was a little, a little bit clunky because obviously the platforms move quite slowly and you know it, it just it didn't really feel right, it felt too slow for this to be entertaining. So instead of doing that I thought you know what, why not make pinball? So that's exactly what I did today over here. I made myself a pinball machine in Space Engineers using the new control group systems. So, I love the neon lighting, that was really really cool. I'll just tell you guys how to get that in a second if you don't already know. So, what I've done is I've assigned these rotors, so th these flippers here are connected to rotors and I've assigned them to one key. Uh, these ones over here are assigned to another key and then you have these pushes up on the left and right hand side here that are assigned to two other keys. Now I can activate these simply by pressing the number keys when I'm sitting inside my control panel on my seat over there. I'll do that right now actually while that ball's going back and forth. Now the one downside to this is that the ball does slightly get damaged over time. Now what you can do is decrease the gravity values on all the grab gens so that it doesn't throw the balls around too much but it should still work. So basically the ball will fall down the hole at the end of the pinball thing down there and then it will be flown through gra uh, with gravity all the way up and around and it'll be spit back out of the top over there. Now let me just turn this down quickly because I know this one's a little bit too high and actually destroys the balls quite severely. So I'll turn that back down there. That should allow it to continue flowing through there. Okay, so yeah, the balls, they'll go through, they'll come up over here, they'll be spat out because of the gravity, like so, that was nice timing. And then they'll gradually roll all the way down here. Now you have these little spinny things here that are meant to redirect them every now and then. The pushes are things I can activate. The walls is simply just there so it can roll down, and then the flippers are something I can control as well. Now this isn't exactly complete, there's a fair amount of space up there for me to add stuff uh, that I wanted, but I just want to show you guys the basic idea and how things work. So let me show you guys the flippers and control groups in action. So when I get in my cockpit here, you'll notice a few buttons down the bottom there. Uh, the first two are rotors and the second two are pistons. So they're the groups I've made for these items. So if I press 1, the left bumpers will move. 2 is the right, 3 is the left pushes out there, and 4 is the one on the right side. So how I got these to work was pretty simple. I went into my control panel, your terminal like normal, and I made them into a group. So I've gone down to the rotors down here. I've renamed them to different uh, objects. So you've got front left, front right, back left, and back right bumpers. And I made, so for example, I made a left side group, because normally when you play pinball, you'll have two buttons, one for the left and one for the right. There's not individual control for the individual uh, flippers. So I've made them into one group up the top up here. So you have um, paddle lines, so don't ignore them for now. You have left side pushes, right side pushes, right bumpers, and left bumpers. Now, once these are into the group, I press G to access my toolbar. Normally, this just has your tools and weapons, but this has now has your building blocks. So every item connected to your station or your ship is going to be in this menu here and if you right click on it you can access all the features that they have and put that down onto your toolbar. So for example if I wanted to uh, say turn on and off a certain light I can assign this to say the 5 key so toggle light on and off is now on the 5 key so if I press 5 whatever light that is turns on and off and it must be one down here somewhere I think. But that, that's, that's basically how the groups work. Now as I said before, I put them into groups, which groups are up here at the top here. So you have left bumpers, right bumpers, right side pushes, left side pushes. Now what I've done is I've put them down here, simply using a reverse command, which makes them go back and forth on whatever velocity that they're set to, which in this case is 30. So now if I press 1, I can reverse them back and forth like so. Quite simple to do. But it, it's, it's a really int uh, interesting and easy introduction to how the system works in a pinball machine so obviously you can make much more complex things but I just wanted to make something basic something that people can understand and something that actually looked pretty damn cool so that's basically the pinball machine and how it works now let's let's try a game now like I said before the the balls do break quite frequently 
which is one downside to this to this whole system. But that is space and is and how it handles uh, collisions. Uh, like I said before, you can turn down gravity if you wanted, uh, just to make it a little bit easier on yourself. But let me just turn the artificial mass on this, and I'll show you guys it actually going through the machine first. So once you're given a game over, it'll fall down here. And also, I want to find the broken one, so I, I believe the broken one might be stuck in here somewhere. So it'll flow along here, the gravity will then redirect it, it'll push it all the way back up here, and then it'll get spit out at the other end of the machine. Quite basic, quite simple. You, we could do this a long time ago, but I've, I've done it for the pinball machine because it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, that was a lot of damage, that's what I was turning down before, so that didn't happen all the time. Uh, now it'll get pushed along here, until it gets to the other end, and then it'll get thrown up, like so. And there we have a stopper here. Now the stopper is here in case you have multiple balls and you only want to let through one at a time. Uh, that's I left that open because I'm only playing with one ball as it is right now. But that's basically how the feeder machine works. So let me get back onto my flippers here and actually have a small game. If I can do that, if that's actually possible. Now one way you can stop a lot of the damage on the ball is to simply add more items so it stops it falling down quicker. Or like I said before, you can simply just turn down the amount of gravity that you experience when playing. So I think that's gravity generated too. I haven't actually... Oh no, did I rename it? I don't think I did. I thought I may have renamed it, but I think as I was building I might have... Oh no, grav gen rotor, there we go. Uh, that's No, that's the rotor for it. So it is actually the grav gen 2. Uh, you can turn that down if you wanted to, but let's just have a game here. So the ball should be coming out at the other end any second now. There we go. Nice timing yet again. And if I wanted to, I could really use the pushes here. Oh no, I couldn't actually. It was a little bit too far away. There are drills at the top there. You can see them just in the ground here where the ball is right now. I just put them there for fun. Uh, they, they don't really serve much of a purpose. But uh, it's coming towards my left side, so I'm going to get ready on the left uh, button here. Oh no, it's... A, oh, God damn it. It actually had fallen through, so I couldn't really do much about that. Take two. Come on. Go, go through again, ball. Now, like I said before, you can have multiple balls depending on how fast you want this game to go. Like I said, you could use the push if you wanted. Now, I left the ball uncolored. It was meant to be white before, uh, so it stood out amongst everything else, but that's not exactly a big deal. It, it does glow nicely, I have to admit. But if I wanted to, actually, I can show you guys the ball pusher assigning a Bobby. So if I go here, I can find the ball pusher amongst these pistons here, maybe. Now, where are you, ball pusher? There it is. So if I go like this and I can go uh, reverse on the systems here. Now that means whenever I press 6 it'll uh, do its own thing. So I'm going to make sure it's set up properly by going to the ball pusher which is under pistons. Ball pusher, are you set to the maximum? Yes, you are. So if I wanted to right now I could press 6 and that can close the ball pusher so that nothing can get out right now. We already have one ball in the field, we don't need two. So that that's it's pretty basic. It works nicely. Uh, you might every now and then crush a ball, but... That's not a big deal. Oh, there was actually already two balls on the field. My mistake. Let's launch that one upwards there. Let me turn it on by HUD so you guys can see it a little bit better. I'm trying to get that one ball up to the pushes at the top. Oh, there's three balls. Ah, what's going on? <laughs> okay, two balls have gone through, but now that I've got the door closed, it should be okay for me to handle. But yeah, this is just very simple, very fun. I'll be putting this up on the workshop for you guys to play around with. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked what I've created or if you liked the video, please leave me a like and a subscription. Oh, and before I go, real quick, if you wanted to know how to do this neon effect light, I almost forgot this before I ended the video, uh, all you have to do is simply paint everything a dark black color and change the lights to have high intensity and high radius. This will mean that the light spreads out a lot further and it'll make the white glow really bright white whilst the black stays black. So that's how you get this neon effect color and it does look really really nice, especially up here when you have a mixture of all three colors uh, and the rotating blocks just makes it really really nice to look at. So that'll do it for today, thank you guys for watching and stay awesome. See you guys next